Hi guys, welcome back to another video here at Rule 1 Model Railways. Today I want to show you Scale Scenes Printable Scenery. So here's what I've been up to the last few days. I've been printing out the uh, Scale Scenes Model Scenery and sticking it down. I've been using a good old fashioned print stick, our best friend along with some other scenic bits there, the buildings, different kits. It's part way done. As you can see, there's lots of work still to do. Lots of layering, as you can see there, we've got um, pavement there, mounted onto one mil card. The one mil card, you can see it next to it here. And we're just uh, layering up, layer upon layer until it looks right. The gaps, there are still where bits need to be put on top and the junctions need to be sorted out properly. They're not done yet. But I just wanted to show you how to do it. The easy, quick, cheap and simple way. Um, I will warn you now though, it is heavy on printer ink. So I would suggest investing in one of these sorts of printers. This printer has tanks as you can see around here, one, two, three, four with different inks um, and you just squirt the inks out of these uh, pots you can get and they're much, much cheaper than the cartridge printers and you'll get far, far more printouts with this type of printer and it makes it uh, an economical venture. Going back so there we're using fruit stick to glue it down and we're cutting it out so I'll just uh, let you watch a little bit. Stick it down on the stand. So all I'm doing I'm getting these squares at the moment. I'm just cutting them out. Just like so. Make sure you have a really sharp craft knife, otherwise you will get rubbish edges on the paper, which is really not ideal when you're trying to do fine scenery. <laughs> Me doing fine scenery. That, that, that's not two words that go together. Me and scenery. But at least I'm trying. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. So, we've got that piece there. Underneath the layer on the other side, I can show you where I'm applying it. So, of that sheet you saw earlier, I've cut out a piece. As you can see there, very easy, very quick to do. I've used a craft knife, a metal straight edge to cut that. No problems at all. Very simple to do. Um, what you want to do to glue that down is you're using your fruit stick. I'm going to get a fairly liberal but even coating all the way around. Otherwise it will start to peel up. And right off the edges as well. Once that's applied, pull you down slightly. There you go. Want to be gluing that down, just like so. Don't want to leave 
any air bubbles underneath, otherwise it will look a bit bubbly when it's dried, a lot more bubbly. There we go, just like that, it's that easy to do. Um, what we'll be doing is getting these and covering these with the scale seams pavement, as you saw earlier in the video. And they will be mounted here like this, all along the edges, one side and the other side, all the way down. To give me my pavement curbing and raised pavement surface. Now, the important part for this, which you must not forget if you're using paper to model, especially in a damp area where I live, I live by the seaside, so this is a must. And it's a must for every other model as well, really, is to use this. This is Artist's Fixative. It's a matte fixative, not the glass or the satin, it's matte. You must pick the matte, otherwise it'll have shiny roads and shiny pavements, which don't look great. Look like it's rained every single day. Um, but you want to be using this stuff, number one, to stop it from smudging if you get it wet. And that's what I say, getting it wet, I mean like if uh, you're moving the layout between the exhibition hall and your car and it's lightly starting to rain, it will protect it against that. It won't protect it if you were to drop a whole cup of water over it though. Um, it's not that great, but it does a good job otherwise. Another reason you want to use it is because it stops fading. It stops the UV rays from the sun, causing the uh, ink in the card get lighter over time so it stops that happening as well and another reason is once you have this on and it's dried it is permanent and you can then use uh, the surface of that rather than the paper to wipe down any dust off of it and it's a lot easier to wipe the dust off of so we're going to apply some give the can a good shake and apply a nice layer all over it like that. Now it does look like it's gone really dark. It will look like that for the next one, one or two minutes until it's dried and then it will be as if uh, I never did that at all. Now some of you might have realised I've left the junction area blank. That's because we're going to be putting in a yellow box junction at some point there and some uh, stop markings as well. I just want to show you as well, I've got the road bridge to do, that's got to be sprayed. That was also made using the same uh, method, using the black slash grey one mil card, just coated in red brick. I'm just looking online now to see if I can find some lift or if you can elevator doors to put on the towers. So you'll have a door this side at the top and a door at the bottom down there and that will allow anyone to get onto the platforms from my station building and it's disability friendly as all modern stations are nowadays moving around this is an example of what not to do this was what I did originally I've just sprayed it earlier but because I didn't spray it in time some of the road surfaces are starting to lift because the water from the atmosphere has got in and it's caused that to happen so i need to stick that back down and give it one more spray and then uh that should be good to go but uh, that's where we're at at the moment we're just laying down all of the basic scenery from the bottom up so important stuff is this with this stuff, as I say, is to start at the bottom and work your way up, layer upon layer until it looks good. As you can see there, with the pavement, it's starting to look okay. Without the pavement, not so great. We're using the pavement mounting to make the straight edges along the roads. As you can see there, it's all jagged, but that will be hidden 
underneath this stuff. So that won't really matter. But that's scale scenes, um, printable scenery. What I showed you today is the uh, roads kit, roads and pavement kit, sorry. Uh, the cobblestones over here, the concrete flooring, and the car park. So the car park up this end, you can buy separately the road parking spaces and all the disability spaces and all that. And the red brick that you can buy as a sheet um, print out from scale scenes as well. So as you can see, it leaves a lot that you can do with this stuff. I am only touching the very bare basics of it. There is so, so much more you can do with this stuff. It's amazing. There is a Facebook group online called Scale Scenes um, Youth, or is it official? I can't remember now, but I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to have a look at. And you can have a peek at what everybody else has managed to do with their scratch builds and building the kits that are also available from them. If you like the video, please do click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.